one of those freshmen playing hard, doing a good job, staying with it. To the end zone. Touchdown, Karstetter! The Cougars rose up and stopped that one at the line. We are now talking to head coach Paul Wolf. And coach, when you take a look at some of the tape from Notre Dame, what are the lessons learned last week in San Antonio? Well, I, I think that, um, you know, our offense struggled at times and the lessons were that, that uh, we couldn't connect early enough and, and keep our defense off the field. And they were good enough in the, in the running game to, to create problems for our defense and we got tired out a little bit. And, and um, we just have to execute better. Our execution on offense wasn't as, as good as it was capable of doing and we need to do a better job. Um, when we do, though, there's a lot of plays out there for us to make, and, and um, that's our goal on offense is, is to continue to execute better and get more first downs and, and obviously score points, and, and that'll help our defense. In some ways, it seems like you're taking a step forward because if we're talking about execution, we're not talking about the teaching part. It sounds like the guys know what they're supposed to be doing, and they're just that close to actually getting it done. Well, and we've talked about that because if you go back and look at our film, there's so many plays that were that close for us to be able to maybe have a really, really big play, particularly in the running game. And, um, and we are that close. There's a lot of things like that. And that, that, is, that is enticing for us a little bit because there were plays there to be made. We just didn't quite execute them. And a lot of them were fundamental, not necessarily going the right way. We just didn't execute our technique good enough to complete the block uh, or do the things we needed to do. And it seems like every week we are charting the progress of Jeff Tool to see how he responds. And this week he felt the heat a couple of times. Did he take a step forward or a step back? You know, once again, I think he played a good game considering the circumstances. When he had time, he was he was accurate, operated correctly. When he didn't have time, he, he got sacked or or he got rushed and forced out of the pocket. And and so uh, those things were issues for us. But but uh, he's done a good job. You know, he, he threw one ill-advised ball that he should have thrown away a little bit further. Um, but other than that mistake, there wasn't really anything he made that, that really hurt us. And defensively, it seemed like the light kind of came on in a nice performance from a guy like Jason Stripling. And I think that, uh, what is it, Turpin took out two, uh, yeah. two quarterbacks? Yeah. That's not a bad day for him. <laughs> no, no. Toby had his best game. And uh, he's very capable. He's a talented young man. And, and when he plays the top of his game, he's a very good football player. And we need him to do that. And a defensive tackle, he, he can be a force for us. But... Uh, he needs to bring that every game, and, and he did this game, and he was he was outstanding. When you got a couple of guys that are making plays like that, and they're gaining confidence, and you can feel their excitement, what does that do for the rest of the defense as a unit? It does a lot, and 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 same thing on offense. You know, if, if someone's playing real well on defense and they're making a lot of plays for the team, or on offense, the same thing. Both sides feed feed off that, and and. Uh, we're, we're showing signs of that. We just don't do it enough in a game right now, and, and we've got to continue to grow. We've got four games, we've got four opportunities to, to take those steps and, and to continue to build momentum and, and, and grow in these last four. You're On game day, give me three songs that you would listen to, like off your iPod. Let's see here. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, oh, jeez. Uh, um, I'm, I'm really random. I got some Taylor Swift in there a little bit. <laughs> Taylor Swift. I'm not going to specify which one. Um, I got to say the new Jay-Z uh, Blueprint. Uh, Down with the Sickness by Disturbed. I like to listen to a lot of soft stuff. I like Phil Collins. Frank Sinatra. I'll listen to David Gray. Uh, Ludacris. Yeah, Lil Wayne. ACDC, Back in Black. Love it. Chasing Pavements by um, Adele. I listen to that. <laughs> to the stage. It's on TV? <laughs> no, it's gonna be good. What do you think of this place, man? Oh, it's awesome. I'm talking about college football. It'll be a lot of fun today. A lot of fun. It's pretty cool. It's nice being back in the dome. I haven't played in one since high school, but it's fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a great city. This is my first time being here. I didn't realize how, how close it was, so it's going to be loud, but it should be a good day, though. I'm ready. Uh, we'll be at full strength today, finally. What does that mean for the coup? Uh, that's a good thing for me. I just, you know, get us back to playing like we were earlier in the season, so we'll see where it takes us. So I'm excited, so we'll see. It's good, man, to have everybody back. The bye week was a big week, you know, for everybody to get healthy and come back, and, you know, it's time to go finish the second half of the season.
Man, we ready to go. We ready to go. We ready to pop it off today. We ready to go, baby. Stay strapped up. Stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. Cougs against the Irish. I like it. Loving it right now. Break it off. Go, 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 go. Fakes the draw. He's going to run to the left. He's back to the line of scrimmage. He was dragged down that time by Dan Spitz. Another one of those freshmen playing hard, doing a good job, staying with it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Good job, Pursue, baby. Let's go play. Let's go. You got to settle down. Press and protect. You got to throw high. All right? You got to throw high. Hand off. Off the right side goes the running back, Tardy. He's over the right side of the 50. And he's upset there and pounding his fist on the turf. Here's Tool to throw down the middle. Thompson got it down at the 16-yard line. Tool turns right, throws right to the end zone. Touchdown, Karstetter! Washington State has scored. the snap for short drop now he goes out of there and tripped and fell right. he tripped over the 10 yard line and fell face down well, at the Toby 11. Turpin Bob got him by one foot when he tried to bounce out of there and he went in the 10 yard line got it. here's the snap going That's back to draw again no he kept the ball he faked the draw gonna run to the right Chris at the 35 tripped up lost the ball and it's recovered by Washington State Nice job. Nice job. under center to take the snap. Short drop. Fade to the end zone. Harstetter touchdown. Washington State. Harstetter for the second time in the game went up over a defensive cornerback and pulled that ball down using his height and his basketball skills. The young man from Ferris High School went up and pulled that one down. Wow. All right, time for our final thoughts delivered in the form of our extra point. Now, we mentioned earlier in the show that it's been nine years since Arizona was ranked in the polls. Washington State actually delivered that knockout punch back in 2000. They beat the Wildcats in triple overtime, knocking Arizona from the polls and leading to some tough times 